Hello everyone, welcome to another impromptu stream. Sorry for the lack of warning on this one, but I once again got the urge to stream and um, quickly cobble something together. Well, I say quickly, it's um, much later than I intended to start, but uh, life got in the way. Uh, second screen didn't work. Um, had to work out whether I could wear headphones and a hat because it's cold here. Uh, and I can, so that's good. Um, apologies if my headphones creak a bit, and this is creaking for me. Um, we'll see how that comes out. Um, yeah, so let's cut to the let's cut to the point. We're going to be playing some Daggerfall Unity, which is um, an idea I've been toying with uh, for a while. And I thought, well, yeah. Heck, let's just go ahead and let's go ahead and go ahead and give it a go tonight. Um, so I, it's, as I mentioned, it is quite late, so I probably won't be going for too long. Um, maybe an hour, maybe an hour stream um, this time. But this is something we might return to. So you may have noticed that I have titled the stream uh, "A Walking Tour of the Iliac Bay," uh, which is the region of the world in which uh, Daggerfall uh, occurs, apparently. So my thought was to have a good look at this um, loving recreation of um, the original Elder Scrolls Chapter 2 Daggerfall um, in Unity. Um, so it seems like a, um, a very thorough, um, thoughtful and um, Respectful recreation of the of the game, uh, which is is primarily noted, I think, for its for being a large open world game and sort of a um, something of a novelty for the time, uh, if not a um, a technical breakthrough. Um, so yeah, so that I thought it might be nice just to have a little wander around and and see what it's like taking the atmosphere, you know. Um, if anybody needs it, just have a, a chill time, a little wander through a, uh, a virtual space, is what I'm thinking. But before we do that, we have some option screens to look at. Uh, please do let me know how I'm looking and sounding, by the way. Um, anybody who would like to pop in in the chat and say hello, you are very welcome to, and I always love to hear from people. And yeah, let me know how the levels are and how... Uh, everything is looking so I, th I think I've worked it out but the music does get unexpectedly loud here it is good music I do enjoy it but um, yeah it can be a bit overbearing uh, so I've tried my best but um, if you can't hear me or you can't hear the music then do let me know so first of all let's have a look at the options that Daggerfall Unity itself gives us because it uh, does offer um, quite a lot of um, opportunity to tailor our experience of Daggerfall. Uh, I think the probably most useful for experienced players, this is essentially my first time with the game, other than having uh, fiddled around with it a little bit on the technical side to make sure it would work. Um, so let's have a look here. Um, I think we can safely leave everything here uh, alone, although I'm intrigued by weapon swing mode, it's currently in vanilla, I wonder if we can get Neapolitan. Hold, click, vanilla. Okay, I'm, I don't know what those things mean really, enable a click or hold to trigger attacks. Uh, let's see what vanilla is. The majority of the options are under advanced I believe, um, and now I, a little suggestion for the developers of Daggerfall Unity is perhaps change the uh, text colour for the uh, menu options up here because I didn't realise there was anything other than gameplay and enhancements to begin with, uh, but th there is. Can you see my cursor by the way, is that is that appearing on screen? You should be hovering over enhancements now. Interesting, I wonder if that's not going to show up. Oh, we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, so basically in between there's interface and video and accessory. They're in sort of a pale grey colour. So uh, for gameplay options, we can toggle on some things that we wouldn't have been able to change in the original DAG for, I don't believe. So we can set, uh, choose to start in a dungeon, which seems like a terrible way to start a walking tour, so let's not do that. Smaller dungeons? Uh, I think that's better. If, we're gonna, if you've got to have dungeons, you might as well have smaller dungeons. 
uh, with their classic textures and uh, the camera recoil strength. I dread to think at what point the camera's going to recoil, but we'll we'll see what happens. Um, the toggle sneak. So most of these things don't really have uh, meaning for me at this point. Um, spell lighting, spell shadows, sure. Um, interface, tool tips are good. Yeah, let's have tool tips. Delay, text color, background color. So color customization and things are good good accessibility options that have been added, I think. Crosshair vitals indicators. Show indicators on vitals bars that display changes in vitals. Well, that would be something. So I think some of the things that you can change are things that would have been standard in the original that you can choose to uh, toggle on and off. Or... Um, customize the controls for which is really good I think I've been going so long the music stopped <laughs> but then you can at least clear, hear my voice clearly um, outline regional yeah so I think I'm happy with everything here as far as I'm aware enhancements so you can add in all sorts of stuff to sort of improve quality of life um, I think there's some uh, more advanced lighting options than were available in uh, 1996 when the game originally released. I'm running it windowed currently because of the aforesaid uh, second screen problem. Um, I think everything here I am happy with, uh, but let's just have a quick look at accessibility there. Um, micro map quality of life toggle. False e uses vanilla micro map colors, true uses micro. Oh, I see. Brilliant. So you can um, you can uh, customize the colors of the map as well to make them uh, more friendly for your needs. So that's that's all good. I think we're ready actually. So let's close that. We'll get the music back. Hooray! Um, I think we're ready to start. So I'm going to click this and then I'm going to do. Oh, hold on. This. Uh, no, I'm going to do this. There we go. Ha ha. There's a little black bar hiding my modesty there. Uh, right, so uh, I'm pretty sure you can't see my cursor on screen, which is is weird. So I'm gonna have to do a um, a different way of capturing this in future. Um, but hopefully you can follow along just well enough. I mean, we're going to be walking mostly. Right, so uh, I don't have any save games to load. So let's start a new game. And we are going to have to go through the process of character creation before we can uh, get stride in. So let's have a look through these different regions. So we get to pick from all the regions of Tamriel uh, to get a, um, a background. So Bretons here. Uh, Bretons hail from the province of High Rock. You are part of a tall, fair-skinned people, highly intelligent and willful. Magic seems to infuse the very being of the Breton people. As a race, they are more resistant to the effects of hostile magic than any other group, and thus are excellent in all arcane arts. Is your character to be a Breton? No. Um, Skyrim. Ooh, do we get regional music tracks? That's cool. Uh, I'm just going to quickly check on the old... Mm, oh, I think you get a little burst, don't you? But that's... No, those levels seem to be good. They seem good. Okay. Nords hail from the province of Skyrim. You are part of a tall and fair-skinned people, strong, willful and hardy. Okay, that seems fairly familiar. Owing to the climate of Skyrim, Nords are resistant to the coldest of temperatures and take little damage even from ice-based magical attacks. Nords are historically well suited to all the... They should... They should take little damage, especially from ice-based magic attacks, surely. Nords are historically well suited to all the arts of the warrior. Is your character to be a Nord? No. Uh, I guess it's quite fun to play the game of uh, um, which of these have become a named uh, Elder Scrolls game. So Morrowind is... Hello game. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, a fiery burst there. Dark Elves hail from the province of Morrowind. You are part of a tall, dark-skinned people known to be extremely strong, intelligent and quick. They are extremely versatile in all manners of skills and well-known as warriors and mages. Is your character to be a Dark Elf? No. 
uh, Hammer Fell. So this is the area where we're going to be um, mooching around. Red Guards hail from the province of Hammerfell. You are part of a dark-skinned people, extremely hardy and quick. Legend has it that the Red Guard are innately more proficient with weaponry than any other race. In general, Red Guards make excellent warriors. Is your character to be a Red Guard? No. We are... So if there's one thing I know about Elder Scrolls games, not having in any particular way played any of them, it is that... I need to wait for this to load in. No, it is that uh, the Khajiit are cat people, and I wish to be a cat person. Um, come on, Imperial Province. Are we, are we doing it? Oh, can you not be from the Imperial Province? Ah, I think that might be it. Somerset Oil? Can I be from this? No, I can't be from the Somerset Oil. Oh, oh, yes I can. Hail, hail from the province of Somerset. You are part of a tall, golden-skinned people, extremely intelligent, agile, and willful. The magical nature of Somerset Isle has made the High Elves natural spellcasters who are immune to paralyzing poisons and spells. Is your character to be a High Elf? No. Uh, Valenwood? Oh, there we go. That came out from Wood Elves hail from the province of Valenwood. You are part of a tall, fair-skinned people known to be extremely agile and quick. Would, uh, there was a lot of copy pasting going on right in the uh, the copy for this, wasn't there? Wood elves have a natural affinity for the bow and arrow, and all members of their race have some ability with that weapon. There's a, a, a broad sweep of generalizations and stereotypes going on here. There are well known wood elves in most every class, but the arts of thievery are their particular forte. Is your character to be a wood elf? No. Elsewhere. Khajiit, hail from the province of Elsewhere. Um, that would be a good. That would be a good name for an Elder Scrolls game, wouldn't it? Elder Scrolls number, Elsewhere. You are part of a tawny-skinned people, extremely hardy, intelligent, and agile. Many Khajiit have taken to painting their faces to more resemble their legendary feline cousins, the predatory cats that hunt the Great Desert. I'm confused. So, I'm a human with. A uh, face paint on, but my cousin is a big cat. Khajiit are on the whole excellent climbers and adept in all the arts of the thief. Is your character to be a Khajiiti? Um, I'm gonna say no, so I can have a look at Black Marsh. Argonians. Oh, these are the lizard folk, right? Argonians hail from the province of Black Marsh. You are part of a highly evolved race of reptiles known for their intelligence, agility, and speed. So, how, what, hang on, why do people get their, their Argonian? Why do they get their scalies? But I don't get my... Oh. Because of their reptilian nature, Argonians do not tire easily when swimming. It depends if they're aquatic or not, surely. While many Argonians have successfully mastered the arts of thievery and spellcasting, there are some regarded well as warriors. Is your character to be an Argonian? No, no Argonauts for me. Let's go elsewhere and see see what we get delivered. Uh, select thy character's gender of these two options. Let's go for female. Would you like to choose from a list of possible classes to play? You can also create your own custom character class by choosing this option. That sounds very good. Or generate your character's class by answering 10 questions to determine the class most compatible to you. Uh, one thing I do like from what I've seen of uh, the Elder Scrolls games thus far, is um, a commitment to having uh, a detailed and interesting character creation system that's not just uh, rolling numbers. Uh, there, there's definitely rolling numbers in there, but I, I like um, this customizable option. So it's quite a long list of classes, which is is pretty nice. You've got Mage, Spell Sword, Battle Mage. Do you get tooltips? You don't get tooltips. Healer, Nightblade, Bard, Burglar, Rogue, Acrobat, Thief, Assassin, Monk, Archer, Ranger, Barbarian, Warrior, Knight, and Custom. Let's be a custom. Because I think we get to specify, don't we? Oh, I must remember that uh, for some input you have to double click. I must remember that. Okay, yeah, we can type class names. So this is going to be uh, Gap Year Student Class. There we go. 
Okay, so um, I think we can work from left to right, and this should hopefully make good enough sense, especially for someone who has played um, computer RPGs before. So, um, at the moment we've got equal stats in all these um, abilities, um, but I think we can reduce uh, some to increase others. So, um, I, I take it this is strength, intelligence, will, or willpower, agility, endurance, perception, speed, and luck. That's what I take those to mean. I'm going to say a gap year student, not necessarily strong. Let's take a good 10 out of there. Intelligence, not necessarily intelligent. Um, willpower, a good amount of willpower. Agility, not necessarily agile, is what I'm going to say. Um, endurance, quite a lot of endurance. Lots of lots of energy. Um, perceptive, a little bit perceptive. Speedy, yes, that's all the walking. And then just a little bit lucky. There we go. That seems good to me. Okay, and then I think we have to pick uh, several sets of skills. And I believe the uh, way uh, skill progression works is that skills improve as you use them. So we would be well advised to pick our primary skills as things that we are going to be using. So can we choose walking? I believe this is in alphabetical order. So walking would be near the bottom. Uh, no, thaumaturgy is at the bottom. We can't do walking, but there is running there. I think we could do some running, so that might be good. I suppose we ought to check out the other things. So alteration is probably a school of magic, I would imagine. There's archery, axe. Axe? Is this a noun? Uh, backstabbing? <laughs> no, let's not be that person. Uh, blunt weapon, centaurian. Um, which seems a bit confusing. That might be a language option. The, the language of centaurs. Climbing. Critical strike. Daedric. Destruction. Dodging. Dragonish. Dragonish. Uh, etiquette. Sounds good. Giantish. Hand to hand. Harpy. Another language, maybe? Illusion. Impish. That, I mean, that probably is language, isn't it? Given the context of the other things in here, but, um, just a quality of impishness would be quite fun. Jumping, lock picking, long blade, medical, mercantile, mysticism, nymph. <laughs> I mean, we could be nymphish. Uh, orcish, pickpocket, restoration, running, short blade, spriggan, that's going to be another language option, stealth, streetwise, swimming. And thaumaturgy. Right, I think it's got to be running as one of the primary skills, right? Double click. Next up. Um, I feel like if we have to fight, we may have to fight, we should. We're not going to have to bother with any weapons, let's be a hand to hand fighter. Um, what would our next best thing be? Um, stealth, maybe. I feel like those ones. The stealth is walking away from things, so. That could be uh, that could be useful. Right, next up, um, we're not going to bother with any weapon things. Um, I guess sw swimming is pretty good. Um, you know what, medical is probably good. Uh, restoration is going to be healing as well, isn't it? And streetwise is probably good, actually. Um, because we're going to be on a street level, well, on a ground level. Um, all right then. So back up, back up skills um, that you have to have to get by when you're backpacking it around Tamriel. I'm thinking uh, climbing wouldn't hurt. Uh, I'm thinking dodging, hiking. Um, mercantile, you got a wheel, you got a deal. Maybe pickpocketing, 
Um, let's have a look. It's probably got to have a bit of etiquette as well. And um, mm, mm, two more. Okay. Um, swimming, swimming, definitely swimming. And then should we pick a um, a language for larks? I'm going to say dragonish. That's quite funny. Okay, so skill advancement for class. So this I think is a meter. Max hit points per level. I don't think that's ultra. Oh, oh, that is alterable. So I think the if we edit these things. It will make it either more or less difficult for us to oh, um, interesting more or less difficult for us to um, advance. So I think we gain individual skill points, but I think we level up overall as well. I believe that's what happens. Um, so it'd be nice to have like ten hit points per level. Why not? Uh, let's have a look at special advantages and available advantages. So I think if we add an advantage, then we advance slower. And if we add a disadvantage, then we uh, advance faster. So that we can bounce them out possibly by having a bit of both. So uh, regenerate health sounds rather good. Does it give a description? General regenerate of health. That that's pretty good. While immersed in water, in light, in darkness. General. Interesting. I imagine general is probably the most expensive of those. Let's just get general. <laughs> let's be a let's be a really healthy. Uh... Okay. Uh, I'm curious about rapid healing. So we have both of those. Okay, that takes us to about there. Let's see what uh, special disadvantages we can. Uh... Oh, no, I need to exit that first. Don't I? Special disadvantages we can counterbalance that with. Um, we've got critical weaknesses, damage, damage from holy places or from sunlight. Um, uh, I don't know if I want to. I don't. Yeah, we're going to be walking a lot in the daytime, aren't we? So I don't think that's going to work. Uh, darkness powered magery. So I hadn't planned on doing any magic. So um, how about unable to use magic in daylight? That's quite a handicap, uh, and does take us back down. So that's that's good. Uh, how about forbidden weaponry? If we're not going to use weaponry, it won't matter if we can't use an axe. I can't use it, so don't axe me. Um, Uh, blunt weapon. Sure, let's have that on there. Okay, let's creep back down to average. Um, blunt weapon. Hand to hand, we want. Long blade, we can add on there. Um, you're certainly making incremental differences here, isn't it? Uh, missile weapon. Sure, we don't use miss missile weapons. Uh, and short blade. There you go, back to average. Perfect. What could be better than that? Any reputations? Oh, we haven't. You must distribute zero points. Oh, okay, I don't think I. Oh, oh no, I can. Okay, so if I. How did I do that? I click, oh, you just click up here and you get more. Aha, so it's perfectly balanced at zero. So if you want to have better relations with one group, say the peasants, then I have to distribute minus one with, say, scholars. I think uh, our gap year student uh, is just going to be equal on all. I think that's a good balance. Let's, can I, is exit progress? I guess it is. Oh yeah. Would you like to fast start by automatically generating your character's background? You will be able to adjust starting attributes and skills within the character sheet. 
or choose your character's career path by answering 12 important career decisions that will influence character background. Absolutely, this is exactly what we go through at school. This is, uh, this is, yeah, this is a uh, careers test. Okay, what school of magic have you been studying the most? Well, I can't really do magic, so I guess uh, thaumaturgy. As a child, your nickname was Rabbit Scrapper Quicksilver or Monkey. Um, I see where you're coming from. I think Scrapper. Oh, oh, I accidentally double clicked. Because I. Okay, we did something about axes. Can I do this again? Oh, hey, okay, let's try again. Here we go. Thaumaturgy. One single click. Scrapper. Okay, you have a certain degree of training with hand-to-hand -hand combat. Whenever you had a chance growing up, you liked to spend time socialising with aristocrats, <laughs> practising acrobatics, swimming, learning street smarts, learning economics, or sparring. Well, that's funny, isn't it? Um, I'm going to say swimming. What thieving skills have you been studying the longest? Dodging, backstabbing, pickpocketing, Critical striking, jumping, stealth, lock picking, climbing, or running. Um, do we put all our eggs into the running basket, or should I pick something else that we haven't really focused on? Um, no, uh, let's pick running. Given your choice of reward, you would choose over 200 gold pieces, a book, a silver staff, an ebony dagger, a ruby. Or an amulet. I think it's got to be a book, isn't it? A tatty old paperback to stuff in our backpack. What mot motivates you into a life of adventure? Riches, knowledge, helping others, fame, or fun? Fun. What god, if any, do you worship? None. Zenithar, god of commerce. Dibella, goddess of beauty. Akatosh, god of time. Kinnereth. Goddess of air, R.K. Birth and death god, Mara the mother goddess, Julianos god of logic, Stendar god of mercy. Um, I think we're going through a, a uh, an atheistic phase. You have the most trouble, blank resisting poisons. <laughs> That's a funny one. Getting along with others, resisting magic. Staying awake and alert, avoiding disease, fighting without magic. Um, interesting. I don't know what this will... It's give us a weakness, won't it? I'm going to say uh, resisting... No, casting magic is our problem, isn't it? I'm going to say... Uh, staying awake and alert? Not sure what that will do. Since childhood, you have saved... 100 gold pieces, a curious. Uh, although I do believe it should be pronounced queer ass, that it does, it sits strangely with me. Um, an interesting book, or a bu let's get another book. There you go. You are friendlier than most with drag the glorious dragons. It's going to be the dragons. The savage harpies, the glorious dragons, the infernal daedra, the primitive centaurs, the simple giants, the immodest nymphs. The bucolic brigands, the mist. Oh, maybe we should have picked nymph. Uh, I'm going to say the immodest nymphs. We can speak dragon. There you go. You are intimate friends with a monk, a rogue, an assassin, a mage, or a warrior. We most like to be friends with a rogue. I think your reputations have changed as follows: commoners unchanged, merchants unchanged, scholars higher, oh, nobility unchanged, underworld unchanged. Okay. So we're in with scholars. I guess that's um name thyself. Oh, okay. I was trying to work out where the um the bar to actually type that in was, but it's uh it's up the top here. Okay. So uh okay, I did have uh, I've got a joke name planned, I'm gonna stick with it. So it's it's fur release. Um and let's see choose thy oh, and this is our Khajiit face, is it? Okay, well, oh, some of them have, like, Spider-Man-style tattoos on their faces. Okay. 
but it's essentially just white woman, white female face, uh, is what we're going for. Okay, and not a lot of options. Well, let's go for one with a tattoo, because at least that's something. Let's go with this one, I think, unless there's a green tattoo one. Uh, you know what, I'm going to go with the green tattoo one. It's not, it's not very cat-like, is it? Okay. Add bonus points. Oh, oh, we've got extra points to spend. Nice. Um, these aren't quite as I left them, but then I guess something has changed, doesn't it? So damage is minus one. Max ink is 72. Spell punts is 24. Magic resist is five. To hit is minus one. Um, well, I feel like the ones that are less than 50, I should get back up to 50, right? There you go. Um, and then... Because then that will... Should... Negate the, the problems. There you go. So the da to hit and the damage aren't, don't have a reduction there. I've got four points to spend. Let's put some in. Well, yeah, there you go. Um, oh, and that was a roll for numbers. You know what? That's fine. I'll just take what I was given. Uh, I think that's all I need to do. This one and this screen. So, okay. Uh, so, running 35%, hand to hand 41%, stealth 30%. Oh, okay, so it will go up uh, percentage based and they'll go up as I use them. Um, and I've got six. Oh, can I add? Oh. oh okay, so I can. But can I not? Oh, okay, so I have to click on the bar on the left here, and then I can choose to add points to them. Okay, well stealth is the low one, so let's get that up to like 35, and then add an extra point in running, why not? There you go. And then let's get restoration up there. Um, and medical, yeah that's good. And then, okay, so swimming, is, oh, I guess because I spent a lot of time in my swimming in my youth. Uh, pickpocket, let's bump that up a bit. Well, let's get that one up to 15. Oh, well, you know, I might as well get that up to 16 and that up to 16. And then we'll pop that one up to 16 as well. Beautiful. Player reflexes determine the overall speed of the game. If you pick very high reflexes, the monsters will move and attack quickly, forcing you to be quick with the controls. Very low reflexes means the monsters will move and attack slowly, allowing you to adopt a more cautious, thoughtful playstyle. Your character will advance a little slower with a lower reflex setting, and will advance a little faster with a higher reflex setting. I will go average and see how that goes. So, here we are, fair release. We've got our stats. I think we've picked everything we need to do. I'm going to click OK. Do we get a body? Or do we get a cutscene? OK. 400 years after Tiber Septim's reign, the beginning will meet the end and the bloody circle will close at the Empire of Cambriel. The unworthy heirs of the Septim dynasty have allowed the bonds of the Empire to weaken and crack. Excuse the gloom, but none may know of this meeting. The nature of my trouble is darker still. Over a year ago, King Lysandus of Daggerfall died honorably on the field of battle. He was as loyal a subject, ally, and friend as you are. I did grieve for him. 
but his spirit does not rest. With a spectral army, he haunts his former kingdom, crying for revenge. I do not know why a good and loyal man would be so cursed. Perhaps you can find the answer and close the marble jaws of oblivion, bringing peace to his... Hang on, have I been streaming muted all this... Oh. Okay. I uh, accidentally... Hello. I had muted myself, but I did accidentally skip both parts of that cutscene, so apologies there. Um, I think it was political intrigue and some kind of haunting, um, but I mean, what are we going to do about it? We're uh, we're a student on a gap year. I mean, what's what adventuring skills do we have? Okay, you you wake and look around the room. Some hours ago you were in a boat en route to Daggerfall when a storm of supernatural strength boiled over the Iliac Bay like a malefic creature. Your boat was destroyed but you managed to swim through the churning water to a promontory rock. There you found a cave and escaped the fury of the storm. You had only just lit a small fire when a mudslide sealed you within. Your fear of being buried alive calmed when you saw the corridor leading out of the cavern. Perhaps there is a way out of this cave after all. Once through the cave, you can begin the Emperor's Quest. The Elder Scrolls Daggerfall has a tutorial that can be active during the game. It runs throughout this first dungeon and for a short time afterwards. Do you want to use this tutorial? Uh, yeah? Tutorial lesson one! The very first thing you want to do is experiment with moving your character around. Don't worry about monsters, there are none in the first room. I may regret having said yes to this because I don't appear to be in a dungeon. Uh, I'll be back in about one minute to tell you about arming yourself and fighting monsters. Congratulations, you have made it out the starter dungeon, Privateer's Hold. I bet you're wondering what to do now. What you need is a town. Towns have the services you will need throughout the game. Let's fast travel to one. Fast. This is exactly what I'm not going to do. Uh, for this tutorial to continue, you should go to a large city such as the city of Daggerfall. We'll pick up the lesson again in 14 days. This should give you plenty of time to get there. No. Yay! We're in the countryside. Look at this glorious place. Oh, look at these sprites. Listen to that music. Okay, so where was the... Where was the, the thing I got out of, even? Alright, let me work out how the directional keys work. Okay, where's to, to move? Oh, amazing. Okay, so I think if I press... Uh, Oh, I think I've only got two bars of um, in the lower left-hand corner uh, because I have no magic during daylight hours. Oh dear! Right. Okay. So these are all the keys. So W A S D to move. Yeah. So I can slide left and slide right with A and D, and backwards and forwards with W and S. And then I can steer myself with the mouse, that is good. The other things I'm after consult as we go along. I think we should have a look at ourselves first of all, right? What do we look like? So that's the character sheet F5. Hey! Oh, we've got a tail! Amazing. Well, yeah. More like a naked mole rat person with some face paint on. But there you go. Excellent. Inventory, um, iron gauntlets, and an iron longsword. Uh, I'm not sure I need that particularly. It's like hand to hand combat, you know? Um, brilliant history. Forbidden weaponry short blade, forbidden weaponry long blade, forbidden weaponry axe, forbidden weaponry blunt weapon, forbidden weaponry missile weapon, darkness powered magery, unable to use magic in daylight, regenerate health general. Rapid healing, general. Okay. Cool. Oh! <gasps> we get a whole... There's a whole thing! Okay. 
Your parents travelled with a carnival throughout your youth, so you were exposed to the best and worst of Tamriel. From your mother you learned how to walk on the water's surface. From your father you learned many things, how to fight dirty, to box, and the rudiments of swimming. All could be used for defence as well as entertainment. The years between your 10th and 20th birthdays are among the worst Tamriel has ever suffered. The carnival was not such a happy place, and movement within the land was severely restricted. Agents of the Emperor would search the countryside for enemies of the Empire, and would question all quite rudely. <laughs> you always hoped that such a refugee would make his way to the carnival, and then one day he did. When the bedraggled young man was hidden away, you had your opportunity to have fun with the Imperial agents. Gleefully, you convinced half the agents that you were their commanding officer in disguise, and sent them after the other agents, insisting they were double agents. Turned out to be your last prank. You were shortly after jailed as an enemy of the Emperor. So why is he asking me to... Oh, when the true Emperor took his throne back from the usurper Yegar Than, all political prisoners, including you, were released from the dungeons. You and only you were bathed, dressed in fine clothing, and presented to the Emperor himself. Emperor Uriel told you that the young man whose life you saved was, as, at the carnival was his own son. The, oh, what a twist, the Prince Cassinda. The Emperor congratulated you on your ability to charm, confuse and befuddle and gave you a most wonderful book as a token of his appreciation. He also asked you for a special favour. Oh, I like it. So a big part of the game is procedural generation. Um, in that seeds were set to create the game in the first place. And I like that uh, it managed to um, construct a backstory based on um, the information we gave it. Um, and that does give a reason as to why a gap year student um, who was fooling around uh, with some uh, Emperor's agents uh, might have ended up with an audience with the Emperor. So thanks game. We need mapped as well, don't we? So I think this is... M is a... Uh, a mini map, but I think that's. Ooh, I think this is zooming in and out. I think it's functionally useless. Oh, unless you're near a settlement. We are near a settlement. Well, let's go have a look at that. Uh, so that is to the. So we're facing. Huh, huh, huh. Okay, it's southeast, right? Yeah, southeast. Okay, let's turn southeast. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. That's southeast. Let's go this way and enjoy the scenery. Mm -hmm. Very portentous music at the moment. I was hoping for something a little, a little more chill. I um. Enjoy the snowy landscape. Oh, interesting stereo action going on in the soundtrack there. This is very nice. You are entering Gothway Gardens. I mean, that's a, that sounds like a student uh, a student uh, residence if if I've ever have heard one. Right, I think we're safe, but you know what? We just started the game and we did go through quite a lengthy character creation process, so let's just let's just drop a quick save here. So this is um uh stream one. Hey, there you go. Yeah. Oh, looks exciting, look at these multi-story uh chalets. What a place. Is there skiing? Can I go skiing? Hello? Hello? Anybody? Is that a camel? I've never seen a camel in the snow before. Hi! Uh, hi! I don't think I can interact with the camel. But the water makes sounds, which is nice. Fascinating. Okay. Hello! Hello! More dick to Wick Smith! <gasps> uh, I'm going to be polite. Can you tell me about regional? Whoa, okay. Uh, hail stranger, I hoped you might direct me to the temple. Oh, temples? Any library? That's a good thing to know. 
I think they have one in Whitewood Borough. Okay, should I write that down? Is that, it's probably something I should write down. Uh, Whitewood Delightful. Um, do I bookstore? That's good to know about. R Corp. Bookstore. Um, you know what? A clothing store and a pawn shop are probably useful as well. Ah, I see. Can you tell me where I might find any clothing store? I think they have one in Van Market. Thanks. Clothing. All right. How about a pawn shop? Fine. Can you tell me where I might find any pawn shop? I think they have one in Fonthol Pend. <laughs> These place names. Fonthol Pend. Brilliant. So nothing in town then. All right. Bye. Bye. All right. Well, there's lots of cheery locals around um, so that's nice um, what facilities are there where's the ski lodge hello a voice calls out you may enter oh hello oh hello oh hello who are you ah <gasps> you theric kingsley kingsley regional I can ask you all the things as well. Uh, brilliant. Uh, library? Library? Wildertown. Probably just get loads of random place names, wouldn't I? A bookstore. Oxwick. Clothing store. Kirkwell. I'd do with a spreadsheet for this if I were, you know, playing it that way. Blackwold. Thanks, Eutheric. You look like one of the uh, l least aggressive uh, people I've seen so far, so that's nice. Oh, is it just you, Eutheric? Is anybody it? Are there, are there any adults around? Oh yes, uh, my mum will be back later. Okay, all right, thanks for answering my questions, bye. Okay, what was, you're too far away. Someone says, come on in. Oh, this is an interesting entry. Oh no, that was the front door, okay. <laughs> the jolly boy says, welcome to my home. Yeah, sorry, I got a bit confused about which door I came in through. I think I've cracked it this time, though. Oh, lovely. I guess, can you steal from people? You might be able to steal from people. Uh, I do move very fast. I don't think I'm running at the moment. I think there's a separate thing. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, climbing? How do, oh, how does one climb? See? Oh. How does it had? Oh, I think I climb and then pr No? <laughs> how do I cl how do I climb? Oh, uh, I'll climb and click. There's nobody here. Well, that's creepy. Just a big empty attic. Look at this. I'm just wandering through people's houses now. Can I just drop down? Yeah, there you go. So there was nothing upstairs. There's nothing here. And then there's an empty room here. And then there's only Oh, hang on, there's another door here. Okay, so there's gonna be. Yay! Oh, we've got a sword. Is it just ch is it just children at home during the day? Hi. Prerister Coppersley, how can I help you, stranger? Well, I was asking. Uh, I was interested in some. Is is there a pub? Is there a pub? Uh, the Toad and Goat. Why the hell would I want to give you directions for? I haven't told you my name, young Peris, Peristeer. 
perhaps we take it for granted that we've exchanged pleasantries and names. The Dwarf and Huntsman? Uh, by Starfall's waters, as if I know. Ask someone else, the pig and cat. I reckon a little more wandering around will make a right good improvement in your manners. I'm being entirely polite. What if I'm normal? Oh, okay. <laughs> so they're rude to you unless you use the, the correct manner of address. So if you're normal, uh, then... Southeast with a bit of a walk. Dwarf and Huntsman, probably somewhere around here. So it's three... Three inns? So I can go and get... I can go on a pub crawl. Brilliant. Alright, thanks. Uh, yeah. Uh, I see you're, you're looking after yourself. That's good. Um, okay. Brilliant. Alright, so how many miles is this to check before we find a pub? Hello. Please go about your business. Okay, this looks like an ordinary residence. You hear, welcome! Okay, so I think I just came in that one. No, I didn't, because that's got things behind it. Oh, it's a man with a bag. Hello. I just stood up in a chair. Hello. Uh, Roddick to a Hawkston. Uh, Taverns? I'm going to be polite to you. Can I, you tell me where the toad and goat is? You find it southeast, with a bit of a walk. Dwarf and Huntsman? you got to go that way, east. Pig and cat? Last time I checked it was east of here. Okay. Thanks. Goodbye. Uh, is this also your house? What is? It's your bed? Oh, it's your other room. It's your one other room. Excellent. So I think the, I think the shapes of the buildings correspond inside and out. Which is quite interesting, isn't it? Right, where I came from that way, right? So we're, we're trying this way. This building? I think if it's uh, if it's an institution or a public house of some kind, then uh, it should have some kind of signage, I believe. The jolly boy says, "Welcome to my home." Hmm, this looks a bit more spacious. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello. Is there anybody? Oh god, I've got to climb again. Um, yep. Uh, <laughs> that's disconcerting. Well, this is a an amazing uh, rooftop. You've got a lot of uh, you've got a lot, a lot of unused space here. All right, so I got completely turned around there. How did I? I came in through one of these doors. No, that's the interior door. Okay, I feel like I'm very short. Is that, is that right? Am I actually cat-sized? Oh, no, I don't want to go through the private property. I didn't expect that to do anything. Sorry. Um, hello? Hello? Oh. I think I can face your doors. Hello! Am I crouched? I see his crouch. What's climb? No wonder, no wonder I felt shorter. Um, climb. Can anybody see Klein? No, I think we would just have to click on a, a ladder to climb. Is that right? Float up, float down. Jump, crouch, slide, run. Slide. Hmm. Uh, right control to slide. Rest, transport, steal mode, grab mode, info mode. Oh, info mode might be interesting. Talk mode. How oh, interesting. I thought it was just contextual, but clearly not. Um, I think I just have to click on the ladder if I want to climb. I think that's how it works. All right, I'll... apologies for crouching around your house. Uh, Elizona Copperwing. Um, could you tell me where taverns are? I'm going to be very polite to you. Toad and go. Even though if I knew something, I wouldn't be telling a Khajiit. All right. So you're uh, you're of a class where you prefer a, d a d more direct uh, question. Go and find a friend or someone who knows something. I am I am ain't either. Oh, what if I'm blunt? Would you like that? Okay. 
<gasps> oh. This person is very rude. I shall leave their house. Else they welcome me in, so, uh. Oh no, that's your bedroom. Uh, so, uh. Kindly. Alright. This, could this be a pub? Just looking for the pub. Hello? Hello! Dear person, do you know where the pub is? Banara Ashart? The pub? Oh. No more. No more. Northeast of where we're standing. <gasps> You're going to want. What you want to do is go that way east. Okay. Goodbye. Thanks. What's through here? <gasps> oh, you've got an upstairs too. Have you got anything in your upstairs? That's a personal question. Uh, no. So they seem to be really big on attic space here. This is very interesting. It's very interesting information for a traveller. Um, big on attic space, uh, but nothing nothing in the attics. Oh, is there a double door here? Is this the privy? Pr pray, privy? Is it the privy? Okay, personal possession. Skull, human skull. Yeah, that's all. That's all normal. And then the box room. Brilliant. Alright, bye. Oh no, hang on. I just found a I found the soaring saw horse? So what what? Bye. That's weird. Okay. Is this a pub? Could this be a pub? Does it look like a pub? Is there a sign anywhere? It, no. I mean it's got like pub windows, but it's, it's Going for oldie, oldie style uh, leaded windows, isn't it? And slightly weird faux. Oh, no, that's the outside door. Um, it's open! Yeah, I, I, sorry, I uh, got a little turned around. This one, this looks like an interior door. Hello! Hello, Bedister Master Wing. Um, <laughs> I think they might have perceived you generated some of their names as well. But there are a lot of MP. Uh, <laughs> NPC, so that makes sense. Alright, I'm asking about uh, the taverns. I'm gonna be dreadfully polite. Uh, your fur, at least. I don't want, I don't think I want to tell you where to find. Am I notorious? I'm a stranger in this land. Uh, okay, I'll modify my. Uh, not too far to the southeast if you don't mind walking. Uh, northeast. Okay, so this, uh, my quest is to find a pub. That's, no, that's your bedroom. Find a pub. Let's get out of here. Right. Okay. So, southeast is that way. So, one of them should be over here. Right. That looks like... That's a nice fountain. This looks like it's probably a house. It's got a weird, like, extra bit here. Is this a house? You may enter. Yes, it's just a house. Um, hang on. Is there a... Door. Oh, there's a door there and a door there. That's the interior door, right? Okay, that's just a, you know. And then, oh, this is a weird house. Oh, hello! Sorry, excuse me a minute. Hi! Uh, Gondival Woodhouse? You do indeed have a woodhouse and some stone. Um, polite. Uh, regional. Can you tell me about. Uh, any just any pawn shop. I think they have one in Long Tri Field. Brilliant. I don't know if you get stat boosts for chatting to people. This is quite nice, isn't it? Uh, how about a bookstore? Uh, Nightsham. Brilliant. All these places. We're going to visit all these places. Guaranteed. Clothing store. Kathleen. Um, how about a library? Oh, Bergwall. Thanks, Bergwall, you say. Thank you. Alright, good day to thee. Fare thee well. Uh, and then. This is a mate. I'd get lost if I lived here. 
Is this an interior? I can't quite tell. Maybe if I crouch it'll help. I think it's an interior. Hey, let's scoot in. Nice. Mount, mount some tables. Crash into the fireplace. On the run. Climbing mode. Oh! Okay. I, I'm not quite sure about that. Oh, that was an interior one too. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's the most ridiculous room. Okay. Is this the way out? Have I lost the... Oh, okay. I need to find out what's up here. Where's... Does the, is the extra bit have nothing in it? Like the little orphaned pillar bit? What is with the attics? I have to tell all my friends about this. When I when my gap is over, I'm going to tell them all about these weird houses. Uh, that it's very difficult to find a way out of. Uh, that was where you were. So it must be this one out. Yes! Right, we're heading southeast. Okay. So, one of these. Is this a no? Alright, I'm gonna hold out. Ooh, well. Nice. This is a this is a good settlement. Oh, that's gotta be something. What's this? Uh, info? Attraction? Info mode. Uh, it's an Ankin. Ankin Dove? It's the Ankin Dove. I don't remember that being one of the pubs. Oh, hello! Oh, hello! I'm a bit confused. There's like a. some kind of guard. A scantily clad priestess. By the looks of it. Alright. What? Oh, you see, bed and mastersly. Uh, interact. or oh, interact. Dialogue mode, here we go. Me? Help you? Ha ha ha! Oh. Hello. Join guild! Talk! Make donation! Talk! Evelovera! Elv... Evel... Evelovera? Evelovera Hawkston. <gasps> well met to you! Uh, tell me about the Temple of Kinnereth. You have found the Temple, temple of Kinnereth. You are in it! Uh, she said, looking at you pityingly. The resolution of Zen? Everyone knows where the resolution of Zen is, which makes it all the more fun that you don't. Oh, I see. It's that kind of conversation, is it? Uh, work. Quite. I would be grateful for information about good, semi-honest work. Perhaps you ought to check in some other community. Um, do you know where the pup is? Do you know where the pig and cat is? Do you really think I'd tell a Khajiit? Even if... Oh, I'm getting out of here. I don't like the tone this conversation is taking. Oh my goodness. This is quite the place, isn't it? I um, Are you sure you haven't got any drinks? Because this looks like the place where the fun's at. Cure disease, I can cure disease with you. Well met, stranger. Euthorian Buckingham. Brilliant. Uh, are you feeling polite? Um, are you feeling polite? So what is this place that I have found myself in? Can you tell me where the uh, pub is? Uh, hang on, if I go back, back like that, previous list, there we go. Um, no, I did it again. Taverns, there you go. Tone go. That's the way, just keep going east, thanks. Um, what's this statue? Uh, interact, info? No, no, no. It's curious, isn't it? It's following me around the room. Hello! Um, dialogue? Uh, talk? Hi. Thanks, Jimmy. It'd be nice if there was just like a, a general chat function. Uh, work? Let's see if we can find out about work. Maybe you ought to learn a trade like cobbling. I don't know if I can. That'd be good. That'd be good. If I could, thanks. Um, good point, actually. I don't know what I. Oh, you are in Gothway Garden. It is 1603 on Midas, the fourth of Morning Star. In the eyes of the law of Daggerfall, you're a common citizen. You are healthy. Well, that's a relief. How do I get my. 
uh, how do I get my stats up and my inventory? F6. Is there a quick save? There might be. Advanced one quick save, I know. F9. Okay, good. Good to know. Um, okay, so. F6 look at inventory. That's what I need to remember. There we go, that's us again. Oh, look, and we're in a semi appropriate context, possibly. Or is that where we come from? Is that what our homeland looks like? Um, what have we got with us? Oh, yeah, we looked at that, didn't we? But we must have. A books? We must have books, right? Oh, uh, info? Equip. Remove. Use gold. 100 gold pieces. Oh, I don't want to drop any. Thanks. Uh, wagon. We don't need a wagon. That's good. Where are my books? I, was, I thought I had books. Oh. What am I looking at here? Just lots of images of stuff? That's weird. Oh, here we go. I used to do these tabs at the top, don't I? Magic guy. Ooh, we've got a magic book. Uh, info. Spellbook condition new, worth 50 gold. Wait, 0.75 kilograms. Well, I'm not going to be using that, am I? Uh, use? Oh. Shock, chameleon, and so slow falling. I, I cannot use any of those. Interesting that I have them, though. Right, miscellaneous. <gasps> Fools Ebony, part the fourth. And King Edward, part the... Tenth. Oh. So I've ended up with this part way through a story. Maybe the end of a story. Alright, maybe we'll read those at a later time when we're um, when we're travelling. At the moment we still need to find the pub. So can I talk to you please? Ah oh, Morgira Hearthfield. Well met stranger. Uh can you tell me about the pubs? Pig and cat. Fair day to thee, perhaps you can guide me towards the pig and cat. Everyone knows where the pig and cat is, which makes it all the more fun that you don't. Oh, thanks. Um, how about you, dear friend? Can I talk to you? Theodoric Master Ham. I'm glad you have mastered it. Uh, could you tell me about some work, please? Thank you. Ah, the curse of the drinking glasses. I can't help you. Everybody's a bit uppity around here, I would say. A little bit snobbish. So I'm going to rifle through all your... Oh, hello! Woo -hoo. You, uh, yeah, you're impressive. Look a little more loose. You might be more my, uh... Ooh. Lots of rooms. You might be, um... More even handed to speak to. Let's have a look. Let's talk to you, you Thorian Morstan. Uh, do you know about work? I haven't heard of any work at all, no. Oh, thanks. How about you then, friend? Who are you, Tristorian Wickhouse? Do you know about work? I don't know what it pays, but Edward Garum has something to do over at the Pig and Cat. Oh, perfect. Right. We'll make a beeline for the Pig and Cat. Thank you. You are. You've been very helpful. It's been worth talking to you. Um, so, the. Can you direct me to the... You know what, I could probably ask about... No, I can't ask about people. That's a shame. The pig and cat. You'll find the pig and cat northeast of where we're standing. Okay, thanks. Now that person... Is very respectful of my politeness. Ah. I like, ooh, I'm, oh, hello! Uh... There seems to be a naked. Oh, there seems to be some naked people in here, and a person with flashing eyes. I was not expecting that. I hope. Um, I hope Twitch doesn't uh, disapprove of uh, uh, natural nudity. Let's find out. Daedra summoning. That seems like it might be uh, interesting. Let's talk to you. Ooh, well, Mr. Stranger, it's Dunnerick Garecroft. Do you know about work? Ah, oh, the curse of the drinking classes. I can't help you. Okay, that's alright. Um, I mean, they're gonna turn to face me no matter where I look. 
I don't have time for your type. Oh, um, are you gonna? Oh, uh, Barabith Kingcroft. Hi, Barabith. Uh, I was wondering about uh, the uh, the lack of clothing. I mean, I I think you should be comfortable. Um, oh, you can. You can just have general chats. I've been missing out. Oh my goodness! Look, I can talk about all these things. But uh, any news? The noble ruler, Latsi, Lats died of the plague. Long live Sector, newly made Baroness of Cosenset. Where am I? You are in the Temple of Kinnereth in Gothway Gardens. Thanks. Um, I can't ask about you, though, as a character. Unfortunately. But, you know, I've ju I just suddenly worked out how to... <laughs> okay, do you know about work? Bedersteer Woodhouse asked me to look for people like you. Go find him at the Dwarf and Huntsman. Oh, that's not one on our list, though, is it? Oh, you know what? I didn't write down the name of my contact for the pig and cat, but never mind. So that's Bedersteer. Also known as PG Tips. Alright, well, do you know... So, do you know where the... Uh, oh no, the Dwarf and Huntsman is in town. I suppose it's okay to tell you. It's north of here, unless I'm mistaken. Okay, goodbye. Thank you. Alright, well, um, looks like things move at their own uh, their own speed in the temples. So that's interesting. Ooh, we're getting a nice sunset. That's exciting. Alright, so still, there should be a pub up here somewhere. Another fountain, brilliant. I like the um, like Victorian style street lamps. They're uh, they're interesting. So this is right. That's just a domicile, right? Domicile, domicile. Dom Can I look at my map? It's color it's color coded, right? It's color coded. Okay, let's see then. So I can click and drag this. Yeah, thanks. Okay, so there's another temple there. That's a tavern. So if I head Directly east, I will find a tavern. Brilliant. And if I go in somewhere, it names it for me. Okay, directly east. I'm not gonna be tempted by any any more domiciles. Um, wow, can I pass directly through this one? Almost. Wow, that is, it's got two doors. Is that two separate buildings? I got distracted. I think this might be. Oh, there's like a castle. What's that? Good day, I enjoy your striped trousers. Right, so could... Oh, this might be the pub, it's got a sign outside it, but what's this? I'm very interested in these, these local monuments. Does it have a... Does it have a... Uh... Oh, it does have a door. What is it? Oh, hi. Where am I? Tell me about... Uh, where am I? You're in the Fighters Guild in Gothway Garden. Thanks. Any news? Teachers of Stendar got the short end of the stick in some deal. Now they're out to get Elysian Hills. Oh. Interesting. I mean, I know there's um, I know there's been a lot of strike action, so maybe that's related. All right, thanks. Um, I guess I'll just have a quick peek in. Hi, Fighters, eh? That looks like a pile of swords, doesn't it? Um, what's up here? A fire? Oh, it's a blacksmith. Hello. Who are you? Victor Bith Coppersley. Well met, stranger. Um, do you know of any work? Hail to thee. If possible, I would hear about a bit of toil and grind. <laughs> I don't know of any employment at all, I fear. Uh, I'll have to look for my toil and grind elsewhere. <gasps> More stairs. Ooh. Oh, can I mount the stairs? Not with... Not without difficulty. What is up here? Some beds. Okay, well, I guess you got to sleep, haven't you? Alright, thanks, everybody. Uh, just popping in to say hello on my way to the pub. This is a very exciting place to have found myself. Uh, yep, I remember how to get out of this one. Right, pub. The pub's calling. The pub was this one, we thought, didn't we? Is there really like a general interaction mode, or do I have to keep switching? 
Because I was talking to people anyway before, wasn't I? Steal mode, grab mode. What's the difference between steal and grab? Info mode, talk mode. Well, I guess if we go info mode. So we entered climbing mode before. Is that a thing we can do voluntarily? Um, I guess we can jump, can't we? I haven't tried jumping. Oh, that's not. I have to do that a few times to get my stats up. Oh, the sun's, sunset's going down. Should we just head to the edge of the... Oh, yeah, let's get... Oh, there's an horse there. Hi, oh, horses. No. Um, let's just have a little look at the, the sunset. That's really nice. Beautiful. Alright, I'm going to leave that there for a second while I... Uh... Oh, hang on. If I do that... No. Oh. If I do that... Oh, I don't know how to leave my window now. But I have... Ah, if I do that, I can leave my window. Ha ha ha. Brilliant. I'll pause the game for a minute. Let's just check on how the stream's doing. Hello. How you doing, folks? Hope everything is still looking and sounding all right. It looks like it probably is, statistically. Um, let's continue. So we're, we're looking at the sunset here. Beautiful. I wonder how quickly it will change. Oh, Ralza, I'm sorry. I didn't see your, your chat earlier. If you switch to info mode and click the wall of the building, it gets name. Amazing. Thank you. If you're still watching, then um, thank you very much for that tip. So, info mode is F. No, interaction mode is info mode, yeah. So if I go and click the, click the wall of a building, okay. And then look at the map. Oh, does it not work if it's just like a private residence? Probably not. But, cool. So if I were to go, oh, looks getting even moodier. Love this lighting change. I mean, this is, um, this must be higher definition than the original, but I wonder, I wonder how this looked in the original. I guess I can go back and try, can't I, at some point. But it's beautiful. I love it. This horse is very intent on me. Hello. What if I try and nuzzle the, the horse? Do I have anything to give you? I only have books to give you. Um, they're not even, they're just partway through a story as well. Very not helpful. Ooh. Horse and sunset. Nice, nice lighting effects going on as well. This is very exciting. Ah, oh, it's getting darker. Excuse me, horse. Beautiful. And again, more horses. Indeed. They do day. That's nice. Brilliant. Well, that was that's an impressive sunset. Let's loop back round to the. Uh... Where was the where was the pub I just identified? It was here, so almost it. Right. So in theory, now I can click on. That sign should tell me something, shouldn't it? Does it tell me something? No. Or if I click on... Ah, there we go, the toad and goat. Brilliant. So that's the toad and goat. Was that... That's the one pub that we know about that... Sorry, the one pub that we don't know has a job for us. Brilliant. Oh, we can always sleep out here. That'd be fine. I'm sure nobody would mind. Is there anything in this barrel? No. Oh, look at the sky. Amazing. Can we peer in the windows? Hello? Hello? 
Hello? Is nice. It's just a nice time. Uh, wait until it gets a little bit dark and then we'll go inside the pub. Ooh. What is this building? It is a residence. Excellent. What is it? Oh, this is like a bank. The Bank of Daggerfall. This uh, is almost as if the game intentionally put me next to a uh, a town full of amenities. Residence. Brilliant. Okay. Lamppost. Tree. Building. Residence. Residence. Amazing. Is this a person or a statue? What's the statue suddenly playing a flute? Delightful. This is a highly civilised place. Um, with some rather rude and racist people in it, unfortunately. There's a post with a name in it. Look, what more can you ask for? Beautiful, a beautiful palette change in the sky. Is it. This is what gap years are all about. Just, uh, just taking time to appreciate the world around us, you know. Seeing new sights, meeting new people, standing near some horses on a post, watching the sun go down, darkness fall. Oh, <laughs> that was abrupt. Let's go in the pub. Oh, that was so amazingly subtle, uh, subtle sunset, and it just switched to night. Yay! It's the tone and go. Oh, looks like some gay fellows in here. Hello. Beautiful. Looks like some kind of twenties uh, flapper is is just coming to town. Next to this page, Bedane Greening. Right, I'm in dialogue mode. Brilliant. Hello, Bedane. Oh, you look older, closer up. Um, let's do the chatting thing. Where's the chatting thing? Where am I? Brilliant. Uh, any news? Uh, ghosts are haunting the streets of Daggerfall. I had heard from the Emperor himself. We don't tell anyone. We're, we're like that. Alright, thanks, Bedane. Hello, who are you? <gasps> Evelyn Hawkham. Uh... Let's chat to you. Tell me about uh, any news. You might be interested to know that the Quill Circus has just allied with Bagama. Well, you know what? I was raised in a carnival, so that is interesting. What is the Quill Circus? Is this, um, is this like idle gossip, or is this actually something I can talk about with people? Is there a Quill Circus option here? So many orders and knights. Um, who is Bagama? Will I ever? Will I ever know? Uh, where is people? Bagama. Where is location? Where is work? Akaji, who actually wants to work? Oh, fuck off. Right. I'm looking for someone that won't faint at the sight of blood, human blood, for 155 gold, would you kill a man? Uh, no. Uh, thanks, I'm going to talk to some of the other patrons. You saw here, Hursley. How can I help you, stranger? Um, tell me about... Any news? 
I never understood why the host of the True Horn and the host of the Horn were feuding. Well, at least that's over now. I think most of this is going to be colour, isn't it? Um, but it's still nice to get a little bit of dialogue. Okay, excuse me. Hello, who are you? This is Sony Yomhart. Do you know of work? Maybe you ought to learn a trade like cobbling. Oh, well, you're not the first person to tell me that, but um, I think that's a load of cobblers. Can you tell me about any news? Uh, until recently, Apothecaries of Akatosh and Aya Sophia worked together. They just recently severed their alliance. Well, that is hot goss, thank you. Hi, do you do potions or drinks? Oh, you're the proprietor of this establishment. Okay, can I talk to you? Well met, stranger. Um, do you have any work? You'd be perfect for this job Theoday in Buckingfield needs done. You'll find him at the Pig and Cat. Alright. Was that the same person as we got recommended to before? I don't know if it is. And were these quests already here? Are they only being generated because we asked about them? I can't help but wonder. Any news? Victoria Ashwing insulted Mordorian Yomfield in a missive. Now Phrygius is out to get the Maron Knights. Is any of this? Oh, so the Maron Knights are a thing, right? I'm quite sorry. For, I'm really sorry for her. I wish I knew something about that. Oh. The... Huh? What was I talking about for Toil and Grind? This is very confusing. Okay, thanks. Right. Now let's have a look over here. Hello, you look very studious. Uh, don't don't know where Greenham. Um, tell me about any news. I had an archer say that Oriel's bow was found and then lost again. In the stories, a single arrow shot from the bow could kill any creature. Well, that would be handy if I were of of that persuasion. Um, where is? Uh, no, tell no. Uh, where is work? Tell me about work. Tell me, no. Where is work? I don't know of any employment at all, I fear. Oh, well, thank you for your help. Alright, so we've talked to... Oh, we didn't talk to you. Did we talk to you? I thought we talked to you. Uh, Barbara Vera Kingford. Do you know of work, Barbara Vera? I haven't heard of any work at all, no. Um, tell me about the news. What's new? Don't spread this around, but Phrygius and the Maron Knights are working together. Oh yeah, somebody else was talking about Phrygius and the... Do you know about the Maron Knights? They're here somewhere. The Maron Knights. Not to be confused with the Baron Knights, clearly. Uh, I'm new to Gothway Garden too. Now please excuse me. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Right, well. It's exciting, isn't it? There's just going to be some... <laughs> Well, that's one, that's one way to save space, is if your uh, door can pass through the bed. Brilliant, there's another room with a bed in it. What's through here? Oh, hello. We met already. R rooms within rooms within... Oh, it's a box. Brilliant. Can I get over the box? Oh, can I jump? Yes. Okay, what's this? Oh, no, I don't, no, I don't want to look through private property. That would be... Dishonest of me. Right, can I get out? Kind of. Uh, 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 hello. Oh, my name is Elvira Wickford. I have a simple task. If you could see a way to deliver an item to a friend of mine, I'd be grateful to the tune of 70 gold pieces. What do you say for her? Yeah, sure. At last, I'm willing to work for a living. Just take this to a uh, Gririk Yomfield here in town. He'll give you the 70 gold. Get them to him by this time tomorrow. Amazing. Right, well that will pay for our uh, night's board, won't it? Gririk Yonfield. Okay. Needs this small tooth as soon as possible. Okay. I'll, I won't ask any more about that. Uh, brilliant. Okay. That was... What's upstairs? Hello? Oh. I think that was... Empty room. 
storage. It's a storage closet with no, nothing in it. Hello! Oh, hello, is there something... Okay, uh, I might have intruded, sorry. You find me in desperate straits, my dear Kajit. I've received work from some Gothway garden thugs, and they intend to ransack my house tonight. I don't suppose you'd be available to do a little creative facial rearrangement on these fellows. I'm afraid not. Fear not for my safety for at least, I shall find another protector, somehow. And then, your friend? I think we're talking to you again, aren't we? Your friend? Hello. Do you have any work? Unemployed, are we? We'd like to remain so for some time. Oh, all right, uh, I mean, I did just, yeah, I just, just did interrupt you, so my apologies there. That's, that's on me. Um, this is a regular warren of a, of a name, isn't it? And then through here, we've got, oh, another, brilliant, okay. So we need to ask people about Agriric Yomfield. I think that's how we can find out where they are. Uh, apologies. Can I close the door again? Yeah. Okay. Uh, hang on, there's, there's another way down? Does this just lead round? Oh, it does. Okay. Everybody's looking at me. I do feel rather self-conscious. Okay. Oh! What's there at Wickford? Yeah, that's supposed to give me the thing. I'll spend some more friends. Someone's bound to know. Okay, thanks. Um, uh, Agriric? Go north, no east, go no northeast of here, unless I'm mistaken. Okay. Writing it down. Um. Oh, I keep clicking okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> apologies, apologies. Uh, surly person, whose quest I turned down. Um, do you know where Grook is? Why don't you try asking me like a normal... I'm being polite, my goodness. All right, I'll be normal. Uh, you asked the right person, just look for it, not it. Well, okay, I don't, I don't know what a great pronouns are. Um... Hello, you're new in town, but do you happen to know anything about Great Gilmfield? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Oh, no, no, I'm trying to go, I'm trying to go, don't be rude. Um, oh, hello. I'm not looking down on you intentionally. Um. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't know, and I have to go. Uh, I suppose I'm out of the table, wasn't it? Great Yonfield, you've got oh uh Innkeep. Do you know about a great Yonfield? After what you've done for us fur, I'd love to tell you about a great Yonfield. However, I don't know. What have I done for you? I've walked around talking, stood on a few tables. I haven't even bought a drink. Okay, um dear friend, do you know about the person who is called a great Yonfield? Oh, come on, I thought we... Oh. Never far from a bigger, are you? Right, okay. Well, let's finish off this stream, because I've just realised what the time is, and it's very late for me. I do need to go to sleep. So, let's send Fur Elise off to sleep as well. But first, let's have a good old glass of... Me? No, beer. Ale? Beer. Beer. Lovely. Do we... Does it just happen automatically? Oh, I could press I for inventory, but that's not, is it? F6? Yeah. Ingredients? Oh, a small tooth. Uh, info? Small tooth. Condition new. Um... <laughs> weapons and armour. No, I think I just drank it. Okay, that's fair enough. Got 99 gold pieces now. You know what? I'll have another one. Let's have a... Oh, I'm not hungry, okay. I guess there's, there is a hunger thirst meter somewhere. Can I get a room for the night? Um, good day, Khajiit. How many... For how many days will you require the room? Just the one, my my good person. Enough bargaining. My price is... F oh. 
I wasn't trying to bargain. But yeah. That's so did I do it? Oh right, that's okay. Cool. Okay. That was a confusing dialogue. Alright, so can, can I just pick an empty room? Uh one where the preferably one where the uh The door doesn't isn't gonna knock me out of bed. So is this a oh why is it oh there's a door inside it oh wow okay not that one that has no bed I don't want to go in that one and then that one's just a box room oh yeah that room is so small the door that was the sexy room so we don't want that one um we want this one lovely this will do just nice and it's got a desk and chair and everything perfect I don't even have to share so I think I can just rest is that okay Uh, for a while? Like, eight hours is good, right? Well, I got magic back because it was night time. You wake up. Edit skill has improved and my jumping has improved. Ah, oh, I knew that jumping was worth it. Brilliant. I appear to be in a different room. I'm in a different room to the one I went to sleep in. That's slightly worrying. What time is it? It's three in the morning on Turdis. Perhaps I went to bed a little early. But never mind, it's good to get <laughs> good to get an early start. <laughs> right, let's save it there. Brilliant, thank you very much for joining me everyone. I have very much enjoyed this stream. Uh, just wandering around talking nonsense in uh, in Dragonfall Dragonfall. Daggerfall. Unity. Um, brilliant. Thank you very much. I will pause that so I can get the mouse cursor back. And I'll go over here. Um, I hope you've enjoyed your time on the Iliac Coast too. And I'll um, I'll be back again soon with another stream. Uh, please feel free to um, follow me here on Twitch if you'd like to be notified when I next go live. You're very welcome to check out my YouTube channel, which is also Cat Sequences, um, uh, which I've uh, many Let's Plays, uh, adventure games, some role-playing games, um, puzzle games, uh, and, and a variety of other things. So you may like to check that out too. Um, and I think for today, we'll say farewell. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.